up, bro? Yo, what's up, dude? You wanna go to Vegas this weekend? I don't know, bro. I have work. Come on, man. We're on a holiday. You have plenty of other time to edit. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let the procrastination games begin. We've all been there. It took me one year to make 10 videos for YouTube. The truth, I'm a chronic procrastinator. But recently I've been studying productivity and today I'm gonna share my findings with you. How to get more things done. Hot topic these days, the hassle culture, the Uberman sleep schedule, how to be productive, design a routine, drink more coffee, procrastination is bad, wake up early, blah, blah, blah. For me, procrastination is essential. It's part of the process. It's when I rest, reflect, refine ideas, and as a consequence, be more productive. But there is a key to procrastinate better. More on that later. Rule number one, timing is everything. Chances are you're either a morning person or a night person. We all have a different biological clock that influences our physiology and psychology. Morning people rise early and feel energized during the day, but wear out by evening. Night people, on the other hand, wake long after sunrise, hate mornings and don't begin peaking until late afternoon. What's interesting is that throughout our lives we change our chronotypes. For example, as a teenager I used to be a night person. 8 a.m. in the morning, bro, I'm not ready to talk about your girlfriend. Shut up. I wasn't ready to study at that time and that made me a bad student because my results were not the best in high school. By the time I went to university, I became an early riser and that changed the trajectory of my life because I started being a good student. Step number one, get to know your cycles. It's important to know your good and bad times during the day to work better. We're smarter, faster, dimmer, slower, more creative or less creative in some parts of the day than others according to your biological clock. The day is divided into three sections. For an early riser, a peak in the morning, a trough that usually happens after seven hours of waking, and a rebound. In the morning during the peak, most of us excel in work that requires sharpness, vigilance, and focus. A study found that most expert athletes and musicians begin practicing around 9 o'clock in the morning, hit their peak during the late morning, have a long break in the afternoon, and then practice for a few more hours. Later in the day during the recovery, most of us do better with inside work that requires less inhibition, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jokes aside, for me, I've noticed that my performance is stronger in the beginning of the day and by night my energy levels are gone. Whatever you do, if you want to be productive and do your best work, don't do unimportant things during your peak periods. Step number two, you need to understand your task and design a schedule. Let's say you want to make one video a week. That's your goal, that's your objective. This is what the plan looks like to make it happen. I like to work from 8 to 12 or 4 to 7 in lapses of 90 minutes or 2 hours. On Monday, I design the video, gather notes from books, journals, write my personal stories. Tuesday, I plan the video, storyboard, shot list, script, voiceover, music. On Wednesday, I shoot the A-roll. These clips of me talking to the camera, which by the way, is not easy for me to do, so I need to do it in the morning with my best energy. Thursday, B-roll the voiceover clips and then on Friday I edit three sessions of 90 minutes and that usually is enough to finish the project for a video like this but on Saturday I like to recheck the captions the colors make sure everything is fine before I export the files and that's it the project is done by Saturday so technically I only need five days for the task but I like to give myself that buffer of two days in case something happens which is usually the case step three invest the time to study your system and identify friction points or obstacles then remove them have you ever seen olympic rings athletes when i first saw them i thought i can do that easy i've been doing pull-ups yeah that looks easy mm -mm, no sir it's extremely difficult i tried and i couldn't I'm pretty sure those guys have a system in place where when it's showtime, they make it look easy. So back to my process, I realized that I was most likely to procrastinate on Wednesdays. Should they? Why? A big friction that depleted my energy. 
See, I don't have a studio. I make these videos at home and basically I have to move everything around every time I do it. By doing the prepping one day before the shoot during my not optimal time, so I just have to sit down and press record, I remove the friction and set a cue for the next day. And you know what? That made all the difference. You need to simplify the process as much as you can to make execution almost effortless. Step four, take breaks. They're powerful. An afternoon nap, for example, expands the brain's capacity to learn. I remember this time I went to Spain. Such a beautiful place. Time literally slows down there. My first impression, 9 a.m. in the morning, everything closed. Wandering the streets, where is everybody? These people are lazy. 2 p.m., everything closed because people are sleeping again. Turns out they're not lazy, they're smart because they only work during the most efficient times of the day. 9 to 1 p.m. they go hard, then they break for four hours, they go home, have lunch with family or friends, paella, wine, take a good siesta, and then return to work at 4 p.m. until 8, and they're happy. The dream life. Robert eats ramen alone on his desk. I hate my life. Who do you think is gonna do better work? A NASA study, for instance, found that pilots who napped for up to 40 minutes subsequently showed a 34% improvement in reaction time and a twofold increase in alertness. At the beginning of this video, I said procrastination is essential. It is. The trick to good procrastination is to do it during your less optimal energy levels. 1 p.m. cook, have a good meal, drink coffee, take a nap, go for a walk, meet a friend, read your book, Netflix, whatever you like. Then when your mood rises, you make your comeback. Two more hours and repeat. All right, and that's all I got for you today, my friend. As always, thank you for watching. If you like these kind of videos, subscribe for more. Now go and crush it and let me know if it works for you. See you in the next one.